2020's been bad enough, so we could all have done without these games. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 worst video games of 2020 so far. For this list, we'll be looking at those particular games that missed the mark in one or all aspects. Whether the game garnered low ratings from critics and gamers alike, didn't live up to the hype, or are just plain broken, if it's a poor excuse of a video game, it's eligible for this list. Lokhtarogar! Come, my warriors! We must drive the humans back! Number 10. Fallout 76 Wastelanders. And then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Fallout 4 was a decent entry into the Fallout franchise, and while it wasn't as robust as previous entries, it was still a fun time. Bethesda then released Fallout 76, a live service iteration using Fallout 4's engine and gameplay mechanics, with literally everything else that was beloved about the series being taken out, namely NPCs, or the main reason why the stories in these games are praised. And he said that inside that vault is the, you know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. While Wastelanders has NPCs and a lot of general improvements, it's still a buggy mess and often just a chore to play. Number 9. Predator Hunting Grounds The idea and gameplay concept is great on this one. Unfortunately, its execution lets it down. Subpar gunplay, accompanied by a dull AI, is a big detractor from the multiplayer experience. What am I looking at? While there are some fun mechanics, the lack of overall content meant general interest and enjoyment while playing dwindled incredibly fast. Performance is abysmal on consoles, and if you want to play as the Predator more than the soldiers, be expected to wait a lot longer for matchmaking. Hey, you'll probably have more fun playing as one of the soldiers anyway. No, 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 that's not good. We gotta deal with this right now. <laughs> Number eight, Bleeding Edge. The energy shall be freed! <laughs> while there are genuine moments of exhilaration and joy while playing, its core camera issues make it almost unplayable. There's nothing worse than being defeated because the camera couldn't track you or your enemies effectively and instead whips around, unable to catch up to the movement. With only two modes of play, there's not enough content to keep the experience from becoming stale, and the fact that it's so often compared to Overwatch meant that either we weren't looking for another game of this type, or Bleeding Edge just doesn't have enough variation in it to make it stand out. Number 7. The Elder Scrolls Blades You can't expect a half-decent mobile game to get a console release and be well-received, can you? While the game was marketed as a complete Elder Scrolls experience, players were disappointed to find that it was anything but. No world exploration, no freedom, no in-depth character customization. Essentially, what you're playing is a repetitive dungeon crawler with levels that blend together, interrupted by intrusive microtransactions. While the combat can be fun at times, and the idea of rebuilding your town can be intriguing, that's just not enough to keep you engaged. Number 6. Cooking Mama, Cookstar Fix or it didn't happen. The graphics have been improved from its predecessor, and actually, that's it. And when we say improved, we're not sure we mean it. Sure, the presentation is more complex, but it loses its charm that was prevalent in the Nintendo DS games. Great! Look at that! The only positive thing this game offers is that you might learn a recipe or two, but learning them is a chore. The motion controls barely register, and the cooking mini games are so repetitive. Also, if we have to hear Cooking Mama say looking good one more time, we're just gonna order takeout instead. Beautiful! Number 5 Mafia 2 Definitive Edition. 
They teach you that in the army? When a game released in 2010 is remastered and re-released this year, we're going to expect a more than negligible difference. One of Mafia 2's main problems is that despite its outdated graphics, we're still getting frame drops. Attaboy, One would hope that when a decade-old game is remastered or released for modern hardware, that the performance is improved, which is certainly not the case for this title. With glitches, texture and object pop-ins, frame drops, and barely updated visuals, you're better off just playing the original release. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep them waiting. Number 4. Waking To cut through the forces of death, which people from your past and present would you summon to guide you through the night? Can you imagine playing a game with absolutely zero likability? There's not one part of Waking that's unique, enjoyable, or visually appealing. It's a mishmash of multiple genres, clunky controls, poor animations, outdated graphics, and a horrible bloom effect that hurts your eyes. While it attempts to come off as a deeply personal experience, the entire game is a slog to get through, meaning you won't even care what it's trying to do. If you do decide to give it a go, and actually beat this game, you deserve an award. Number 3. Dawn of Fear Fixed camera angles, a mansion, zombies, inventory management, and puzzles are all included here in Resident <coughs> Dawn of Fear. The game's appeal to our nostalgia is its only redeeming quality. It's not that we hate fixed camera angles, it's just that they were framed beautifully in the Resident Evil series. Here, we have generic shots of the area, and they're filled with poor graphics, terrible animations, uninspired monster designs, and a horrible frame rate, not to mention poor storytelling. We would have loved to see some voice acting, even if it was as bad as the original Resident Evil's. It would have added some charm. Number 2. Warcraft 3 Reforged This is getting frustrating now. What is it with recent remasters either barely improving on the original's experience, or actually worsening it? Reforged is an insult to all Warcraft fans, and has left us all bitter with Blizzard as a whole. Human? <laughs> I left my humanity behind long ago. A lot of the promises Blizzard made were unfulfilled, and the price is way too high for a remaster that looks like it should have come out 15 years ago. It's poorly optimized, even on high-end PCs, and the experience is buggy. If you're still unsure as to whether or not it's really that bad, just take a look at the user Metacritic score. For now, rally your warriors and prepare to leave this land. We will speak again. Before we unveil our topic, here are a few dishonorable mentions. Disintegration, because everything is just subpar. Ready for anything. Rugby 20 because it looks and plays like it should have been released 10 years ago. We have to be strong in impact and to show our opponent what cast iron defense means. Rely on our essentials in scrums and lineouts. Warlander, because of poor visuals and lack of fine tuning. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos you have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Crucible If you're going to combine a bunch of different styles into one, it has to work. A fatal flaw with Crucible's game design is that you're playing a team-based shooter in which your only way of communicating is by a ping system. No in-game text or voice chat. Give me some room. The gameplay itself is also just excruciatingly dull. 
The map is way too large for your character's movement speed, which means you're probably going to be walking around for most of your playtime. Its three game modes, while varied, offer nothing new to the genre. This entire experience is something we've all seen before. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.